Hello everyone, welcome to another going under guide. This time I'm going to show you guys how you could reach the bottom of Jublin the first round of course. And when you reach the bottom, it's, it's kind of hard isn't it? My, the first like 5 runs or 10 runs I did, I died instantly. So yeah, as you can see I have 5 wins, which is great by the way. I basically did them 5 in a row. So if you're wondering how you could get to the bottom or how you could defeat it how you could defeat the carbonated I think his name is I'm gonna show you guys so let's enter so before that though I should have showed you I don't know if I shouldn't have entered but the pre-requirements of going in here I would recommend that you start out your you choose your mentors wisely so as I can see as you can see, I have two. I have the mentor fern at level two, and I have acquired the skill of intimidation. So this one is entirely optional. Now you could choose whatever, which will give you an upper hand. But the mentor, I recommend fern very much after you reach him level two. That is, because he gives you cans of fizzle, which are very important when you're fighting enemies. They hit, destroy. They do multiple things to your enemies. This is better than the apps. It replaces the apps, so you don't get to use the apps, but it is way better than the apps. And the other one is when you do the toast, the sandwich, no, job which which I will put down in the description if you want to know how to do so. You will start, he will give you a packed lunch. He will give you a bento. So as you can see, I have a bento box. In that bento box, I have three meals, as you can see. And those three meals, apparently, they give you one health each. So basically, I have three health just in my backpack. So grab whatever you can to get ready. Uh, as you can see, I'm unfortunate to get nothing. So intimidation, the good thing about intimidation is just when you enter the room, it doesn't happen always, but they're just knocked down for no reason. So yeah, that is a good part. So when it comes to weapon, I, recomm I recommend the sword, the hammer, the sword, the hammer, the, uh, the sphere, the sphere is good but doesn't damage that well. This one, I don't know what it's called, the mace. So basically something that is sword like, not keyboard is like until you get something cool. So don't rely on it. And if you are wondering how to get that because above your heat, just throw stuff at it it will break and that's basically how you potentially get what you want when it's up above come on there you go there you go you see i wanted the maze that's how you get the maze so yeah let's go so that is the two things you, you have to start with because it'll help you out so as you can see these are the cans i was talking about the fizzle has wasabi what is that how about nano? That, that's so complicated. Basically, I will show you what it does. There's so many different types of it, but basically it does different stuff. So I would recommend not getting hit in these situations. Uh, so yeah, uh, there's things. There's, there's a freeze can. There's one that. What what does it do? There's lightning. I mean light 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 lightning. I mean electricity. There's multiple different types of the cans, so if you're wondering how to get those, you just they just randomly appear. And as you can see, I was just I'm just running away because I'm talking, I can't focus. But when you're fighting this little guy, this little guy is the one that probably will try to kill you the most than the other. So, uh, two hits and dodge. That's all I could give you. Two hits and dodge. Don't get caught. He will hit you, and you want to go to the bottom of the level with at least two hearts or more so your your job or your mission while you're trying to go downstairs is to get two hearts or more because worse comes to worse you will only need one and a half to beat the big guy the caffeinated one yep. so yeah try to get try to get your health at least three least three that would be awesome so another thing is you have to visit every room because you don't know what you're gonna miss out by not going to every room so I, I would recommend that you explore every room try to be cautious try to avoid your, 
every hit you can. Don't get... You see, I'm trying to dodge as much as possible. Try to kill this guy because this guy is easy. This one, they mostly handle short range, so as long as you're far away from them, they don't hit you. So yeah, and when it comes to the shop, the shop, basically, I recommend you go to the I mean, you come here after you clear all the rooms because you don't know how much you're gonna get and spending it wisely is the way you could potentially win this floor or uh, what is it? Dungeon? Dungeon. So I recommend you guys buying the Fizzle Classic uh, if you have because it gives you one heart and like it gives you a heart plus an, another area of a heart. It's, it's kinda, I'll show you guys but if not, if you're heavily damaged, go with Avocado Toast and if you still have money, buy this one. So try to, to maximize as much of your money as you can. So basically I've reached the last area which is this green stuff. If you go in and start the last part, you cannot go out. So what I recommend is going back to the shop and use whatever money you got to buy some things. So I, as you can see, I could buy this one right now. Or I could buy this one which will give me one heart and a half. But as you can see, I will be wasting money if I buy this one because even though I don't get the half heart, I still have money for the next run. So I'm going to buy this one. Avocado toast. And because I couldn't buy both of them. If I could buy both of them, I would. But we're trying to maximize how much money we can make. And I am not going to do this one because I don't know. I don't want to risk it. So yeah, let's just go straight through here and fight. So currently we are room 2 or floor 2. Basically at 4-2 there are multiple new enemies that you'll be encountering. The first is these cars. The cars try to hit them as fast as you can because they will they will be more like they will be the area will be more manageable if you can handle them quickly. So I recommend just handling them, killing them as fast as you can because they're just troublesome if you if you just let them. And the other ones which I'll be showing you is the ones that are very hard to handle the big ones the very big ones which is like so very hard to handle uh, I will show you guys how to handle them though but before that this one this one is a vampire's lair with a Lamborghini so as you can see at the back there's two things you could acquire if you take on this curse which is for street combat all item will be a cheap knockoffs basically Everything will break easily, and for that you get a heart and a big go big or go under. So, as I, it's better to take as many many skills as you can uh, because it will help you in the long run. So I'm gonna take this one. It's only for street combat, so it's not a big deal. But this one is like you can get this. Like I get another extra health until I finish the game, so it's definitely worth it. But remember, cheap knockoff is not such a good one because they get broken so easily. So easily. But at least, at least you got an extra health. So we are at this shop. And I am not gonna buy the avocado nor this one. The one that is most useful for me is, of course, the Frizzles Classic. It adds one additional heart. Which is good. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus my bento box. I have not used my bento box yet. Which makes it even more likely that I'm gonna go to the last floor. So yeah, this is amazing. Let's go. Let's go. As you can see, the void has been left, so no cheap stick. So anything you obtain after this will be normal weapons. Which is amazing, because I still have all this heart. Which is, like, you definitely need the heart. Better than the curse. It's so way, way better. So this guys, as what I was talking about. So try to kill them faster than anyone you probably did. Uh, stay a whole like they do the spin attack, which is very very lethal if you get the crosshair of it. So they are when you see them, they are your main priority of dealing with them because they too they also up upon the ginormous health they have. They also have armor that you have to pierce through. So. They take a lot of damage, do a lot of damage, so the best way to do so 
in my eyes is just hit them first and just keep on hitting them. It's better if you get one or two hits. I mean, it's better to get hit once or twice while trying to kill them than actually leaving them alone and dealing heavy heavy damage on you. So that is why I recommend. So we have reached the last area. Uh, I don't have any good weapons so I recommend going back trying to find any good ones. I only have this broom which is not good at this point. Yeah, sword. Sword will do nicely. Even if I have two swords, way better than having a broom. So yeah, at this point I am lucky enough that to not get the big guy as a way. Oh no, where am I going? Okay, okay. Oh no, this is not going as planned. Come on, come on. Where's my weapons? You see, we are done. We have killed everyone. We have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I have five. Which is amazing. I have five. Uh, let me grab this one. And let's enter. No, no, no. Nope. Mm -mm. Give me my. Unfortunately, the game glitched out on me. I can't go into the last area. So I basically have to do this entire thing again. But, it's like, but I guess you understand this. I'll show you the last boss. I will combine it with this. Video. So, yeah. So, up to this part that you have seen how to survive. Now I'll show you guys how you could potentially win the boss. So guys, I was able to manage to get to basement 4 with, while having 4 lives. Uh, apparently that was not the same life I had before because like as you can see, the game didn't allow me to go down so I had to do it all over again. But I have 4 lives and I'm ready to hustle. All I, like, I'm gonna show you guys how to defeat him, which is he, pretty easy if you have more than 3 lives. He's definitely easy to beat. So, what? Basically, what you need is a sphere to begin with, so that you could uh, just try to. Oh, this is not. I can't talk. I, this is. I should have probably said it's quiet, but in this in this battle, sphere is what you will probably need to do the most because you could attack him from a far away distance. Always try to dodge his hit of the... what do you call it? A knuckle hit? His karate hit. When he gets angry, just try to keep as far away as you can because he will do damage way, way high damage than you. Okay, so once he starts doing that, just try to keep away from him. Then he'll do the jump at least once or twice. Then he will do. You should only attack after he does this one. Then he will become dizzy and he won't be able to attack. Once that happens, just smack him, smack him until he basically dies at this point. So basically, what you have to do is try to avoid his attacks until he becomes incapacitated. Ah, I can't say that word. He becomes dizzy. Once he becomes dizzy, go hard on whatever weapons you have. Apparently, this this time around. He gave you, he will give you a lot of different weapons, so get hammering. Anyways, this is my guide on how to defeat the Jubilant area. I hope this was useful. If it was, please remember to like and subscribe. And until next time.